Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the cable adduction exercise. This is a great exercise for your inner thighs. And if you have a cable machine, regardless of whether it's this one or a functional trainer, you can definitely do this exercise. The first thing you're going to want to do is set this up all the way down at the bottom. Um, yeah, you're going to have to put it all the way down to your ankle to really feel anything with this exercise. And then you want to make sure that you choose the appropriate weight. Start off light, very light, and then slowly start to increase the weight every other week. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you strap on the uh, ankle strap, you want to make sure that you take a slight step back with the opposite foot to give clearance for that foot to go across. Because if not, you're just going to run into your foot again. And you're not going to be able to come across the midline of the body with the working knee. That's what I want you to think about, bringing your knee across that area. Before we continue, a word from today's video sponsor. Me. I'm today's video sponsor, and if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle, there's a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. Another key thing I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're staying as upright as possible. What you don't want is to be bending over while you do this. It's just an extra element that you have to focus on, which will take your focus away from focusing on the area you need to be working, which is basically the working legs adductor, which are just your inner thighs, basically. And this exercise is great, especially if you don't have an adduction machine at your gym or it's taken. You can easily just do this. Another key thing I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're stabilizing yourself with that opposite hand. You don't just want to be like in just just loose in the air with no like connection to the machine uh, because then you're not going to feel this exercise you're going to be focusing more on stabilizing than you would actually contracting that inner thigh you also want to make sure that you're bringing your leg out far enough so that you're getting a good stretch on that adductor so bring it across to the machine but don't let the weights hit so notice how the plates never hit each other you want to make sure that you're keeping tension the whole time. So you don't want to lose attention by allowing the plates to hit. Another key thing is to make sure that you're pushing your butt back just a bit when you do this. And keep the opposite knee straight. Because if not, you're going to just be gliding your foot across the floor and you're going to catch the floor a couple times. What I also want you to think about while you do this is making sure that you're not necessarily bringing your feet across each other, but your knee. I said this before, but I, I want to emphasize it because if not, your knee is going to start bending and you're going to start rotating your uh, your foot while you do this. And that's just going to take tension off of the air you want to focus on. Now, um, a couple of things that you want to avoid, obviously. So here's some mistakes. One is keeping your leg right next to each other. You notice I'm just running into my leg here. You don't want to do that. Also bending both knees. I want you to keep one knee straight and the other one slightly bent. 